guys, it's Kristen of Case Sykes Designs. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. First, let's ditch the wig. I'm 13 weeks post relaxer and I'm gonna walk you through the process I follow the week before my relaxer. I always detangle with water and a wide tooth comb before washing. Now let's hop in the shower. To kick off my relaxer prep, I perform a clarifying wash. I want to purposely remove any dirt, grime, and product buildup so that the relaxer processes evenly and accurately everywhere. My go-to is the ORS Creamy Aloe Shampoo from their olive oil line. I'm working on doing a better job of keeping my hair in separate sections while washing it. Operating in sections as opposed to just jumbling it all together really helps to keep your hair from tangling. Less tangles equals less breakage equals keeping more hair on your head. You get a crazy good lather with this shampoo too. It is not a game. Next, I'm gonna go in with a normal moisturizing or sulfate-free shampoo. I'm using the ORS Scalp Rescuing Detox Shampoo. I really focus on the scalp first before bringing the shampoo down the remainder of the hair. If you've been subscribed for a while, you know I always t-shirt dry. A soft cotton t-shirt is a lot more gentle on your hair as opposed to the grooves of a traditional towel. Now that we're nice and clean, I'm going to apply a protein treatment. I believe in strengthening my hair the week before a relaxer so the relaxer causes no harm. Today I'm using the Affirm 5-in-1 Reconstructor not gonna lie, it's a little pricey, so another I like is the ORS Hair Mayonnaise. Using a wide tooth comb, I ensure I work this through, then I'm gonna throw on a plastic cap and process this with heat. After rinsing that out, I apply a moisturizing conditioner. Yes, I'm saying I use two conditioners back to back. I only do this a few times a year. The extra step is worth it. I mixed in an organic oil that was castor oil and now I cover it with a plastic cap and process that with heat. I moisturize and seal using the LCO method, the L meaning liquid or leave-in conditioner. My leave-in is when I make, made of aloe vera juice, water, glycerin, a splash of oil, and a few drops of lavender oil. I have low porosity hair, meaning my hair holds on to moisture really well, so I have to dry a little before moving on to the step of applying cream. If I put something oily on top of wet hair, my hair would legit take a day and a half to dry. I'm also using the cool setting so there's no unnecessary heat. Let's take a look at this new growth. You can very clearly see the line of demarcation, meaning the point at which my natural and relaxed hair meet. The grays decided to show up to the new growth check, uninvited. Yeah, 
it's a whole afro in the back I've mentioned in the past my hair in the back is a different texture from the front it's more so for B without a doubt it is definitely time for a relaxer For my cream or daily moisturizer, I use the ORS Olive Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion. I used to talk so much smack about why I would never use this because it has petroleum in it. Beauty products with mineral oil, petroleum, or petroleum in them are said to clog your pores. Y'all, my hair loves this. It is so rich. I use it so often, I went ahead and upgraded and got the larger professional size. I seal with a grapeseed and avocado oil mix. This helps to lock in the moisture. And lastly, I'm going to throw her in a bun. The week before your relaxer, you want to let your hair just chillax. It's best not to irritate your scalp to prevent any burns. I also want to keep my hair in the straightest pattern possible. You don't want to put it in a pattern that would create any waves because that will make it difficult to tell the relaxed hair from the natural hair. Here are my freshly brushed 13 week old edges without any gel. I'm going to slick these edges down with the ORS Ultra HD gel. Funny story, so Bay walks in and says, hey, I used that castor oil in there on the sink and it made my hair hard. I know there isn't any castor oil on the sink. I go check to see what the heck he's talking about. This man has put gel in his fade because all he saw was castor oil in bold yellow print. <laughs> in his defense i guess the words castor oil are more prominent on the label than the actual title of the product <laughs> given i'm so many weeks post relaxer i need edge control as well weeks post relaxer wear it's nice and sleek I like a big messy bun I'm definitely giving cotton candy vibes here I'm going to throw a scarf on for about 10 minutes to ensure my edges stay nice and smooth. Then I'll meet you here next week so we can relax together. Remember to click that subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!